At X Games Los Angeles 2006, Travis Pastrana was looking to become the first person to land a double backflip in competition. Pastrana often referred to it as his most dangerous trick. For me, the double backflip was such a, a landmark in my life because as an athlete, you always, every new trick is really special. It's that next level. I knew I'd, there's rumors out there that Travis was thinking about doing this. This is pre-YouTube days, you know, so th there was no like hidden grainy footage of him like trying it. You, know, you could feel just this positive energy. It's like, you know, tonight's gonna be the night. It was packed, whatever it was, 18,000 people. And the energy in the Staples Center is such a level of anticipation that I've never seen before. Um, at X Games, and you could see it in everyone's faces. Everybody that was in the arena understood that feeling that I had. Every rider in the house is watching. The world is watching as Travis Pastrana, everybody in this house, wow. is now standing up and cheering on the 199. So many people that weren't just motocross riders, they weren't just action sports people and they're like dude I, I was here when I saw you do the double flip. And I also know Travis is like a lot of us that once it gets in your mind you can't get it out and then you just end up doing it. Even Pastrana's own mother could barely watch as her son attempted to make history. His mom was wreck like any mother would be. Like is it worth it? I was like yes. So you know what? I don't care. I, I, I've worked on this. I've practiced on this and if I get hurt so be it but I'm gonna give it hell. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna do the best that I can and whatever happens, happens, but I'm gonna, not going to leave anything on the table. That's what X Games is about. And cheering on the 199. Go, Travis! Oh! Oh, my word! A double back flip from Travis Pastrana! Are you kidding me? How many times can you find the Holy Grail in one video? When he took off to when he landed was perfection. It didn't even look real. And then when he landed, you lost it like, you know, you were in a Southern Baptist revival church. Like he's done so many times, just uh, just turned into Superman and, and pulled it flawless. And, and it was just brought the house down. I actually surprised myself more than anybody else when I hit the wheels. I was like, holy crap, it actually worked. <laughs> To pull the double backflip off here, I promised myself after the first time I did it that I would never do it again. Here we are at X Games, X Games 12, and this is just, this is an awesome feeling. I was watching that live, and, and I think that's kind of the epitome of what X Games is, just uh, watching someone push their sport that far, uh, that, that far past what anyone else was doing at the time is just, it's amazing. Seeing Travis double backflip, you know, all those things were, were things that everyone knew was possible, but who is going to be the one that really goes out and tries it and risks everything for it? Tony Hawk's 900, Travis's double backflip, the torch was passed. Travis would take home the gold medal that day, as well as a page in the history books. The double backflip was such a special moment for me personally because as an athlete, every new trick that you do always has this really sentimental feel. There's years of preparation, there's there's planning, there's thinking, there's what could go wrong, there's what, how's this going to work. but when I was in the Staples Center, the double backflip, everybody that was in the arena understood that feeling that I had. And I felt like when I landed it, everyone kind of celebrated with me. At that moment, you couldn't help but appreciate that you just witnessed something that was never seen before and probably would never be seen again at that level of first.